Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to make a narrated storybooks with Google AI. Google has come up with a latest AI tool in the last few days with which you can create storybooks. Okay, it is a new tool and you can create storybooks. So if you have kids or children or if you want to share it with your friends or with family or with the business, you can create some interesting topics and you can have a narrated voice in the background and you can share those details with people. So I am going to show the step by step process on how this can be done. Okay, let me go to the first slide. Let's say for example, for team building and company culture, you can create a storybook that tells the history of your team or company. Maybe you are a team leader or CEO or a manager of a company and if you want to give a nice presentation about your team building and company culture, you can create a topic. Okay, you can create a presentation for your team building and company culture. All you need to do is, all you need to do is, you need to type this prompt okay create a storybook about how our small team of four developed our new software product make us all represented as heroic characters and the software bug as a big monster we have to defeat together so this is one scenario or example now let me go to the next one for educational and training purpose, let's say you are into education and training, what you can do is you can come up with different ideas. So here the concept is create a series of storybooks that break down a difficult topic into simple illustrated narratives. So this is the presentation, a presentation on the water cycle for elementary school students. Each slide could feature a different storybook page with the storybook narration playing in the background. The example for this prompt is create a storybook that explains photosynthesis to a 10 year old kid. Make the sun a friendly character and the plants a group of friends who are hungry. So this is another example. This is for educational and training purpose. And this is for this is to turn your family photos and memories into a personalized story. So let's say for example your family has been to Europe maybe you, your family went to Paris and took some nice pictures and videos now you want to create a nice presentation so that you want to share it with your friends or you want to put it like a poster in your house or whatever it is so what you need to do is you need to type this prompt based on these photos so all you need to do is upload the photos into the tool upload the photos you have taken in France or Germany wherever you go and after uploading the photos, you type this prompt based on these photos from our family trip to Paris, create a storybook about a magical adventure we had making my son the main character who discovers a secret about the Eiffel Tower. So this is the prompt and it is going to create a nice presentation. Now I have given some details about this product. Now I am going to show how this can be done so please watch the video till the end and also here is another idea let's say your kid who is seven years old he likes to draw then you can type this prompt here is a drawing of my seven year old made of a dragon write a fun creative story about this dragon make the art style 3d claymation so let's say your son is into drawing and he likes to draw some pictures then you can take a picture of that and you can upload it into the tool and you can give this prompt saying that here is a drawing my seven year old made of a dragon write a fun creative storybook about this dragon make the art style 3d claymation and it is going to create a nice nice storybook for your kid and you can share it with your kid so so that your kid can listen to that you, your kid can watch that and you know get motivated so now i'm going to take you to the tool so the very first thing that you need to do is you have to go to Google and type Google Storybook AI. Okay, Google Storybook AI. Hit enter. So once you hit enter, you see this here. It says Gemini Storybook for the stories all 
for the stories only you could imagine click on it so once you click on it it will take you to this screen it says gemini storybook create a personalized illustrated stories about anything with read aloud narration just describe the story you want add files and photos if you like and gemini will create a unique 10 page storybook leave no story left untold so you need to just come up with a simple prompt maybe your life story let's say for example i am my name is naresh i like to travel uh, i am very motivated by information technology create a story on this this is this is a random example i'm giving okay in this in the same way you can also create a simple prompt and it is going to create a nice story for you and here comes the important thing if you want to add your files and photos because if you add your files and photos it is going to create the pictures according to your face according to your family pictures so this is very important so keep keep this keep this in mind so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on start your story okay so this is how the tool looks like this is how the tool looks like so these are some example prompts that it is recommending like my seven year old doesn't want to sleep over at their grandma's house create a storybook to help them cope so maybe your seven year old doesn't want to sleep at your at, at your grand at his grandma's place so you're creating a funny storybook to to you know make your kid understand to it is okay to stay with his or her grandmother and this is a photo of my college roommate Amelia she leaves empty mugs everywhere write a funny storybook about how she how she uh, you know overcome that something like that so this is a different prompt so these are some examples that Google storybook is giving now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this image as a reference let's say for example if my if my kid had drawn this particular picture I'm going to use this as reference to create a nice story book so I'm going back to Google storybook and I'm going to use this prompt okay this is the prompt I'm going to copy it the prompt is here is a drawing my seven year old made of a scenery write a fun creative story book about this scenery make the art 3d claymation so I'm going back to storybook I'm going to put the prompt here so once you type the prompt the next thing that you need to do is you need to attach the files so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a file from from my computer so this is the drawing that I would like to give as a reference so I'm going to select this file click on open so it is going to attach that file now see the file is attached now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter and see how it goes if you want to give the name of the kid you can also give the name of the kid so I'm going to say here is a drawing my seven year old seven year old let's say Karthik okay Karthik made of a scenery I'm going to hit enter now and see how it goes so what you need to do is you need to you should customize the prompt according to your requirement maybe you have a daughter you can say something like here is my drawing my seven-year-old Deepthi or uh, Kirtika or whoever it is you can mention the name exactly so it is in the process of creating the storybook now it says creating illustrations so the possibilities are endless it is not only for creating you know storybook for kids you can you can create presentations for your clients you can explain topics in simple words with nice you know narrations in the background so you can do a lot of things all right if you see now the the storybook has been created if you see here the storybook has been created click on it and you see an option called listen here okay click on listen Karthik's cheerful clay world in a world made of soft squishy clay lived a tiny curious creature named Karthik Karthik loved their home a cheerful place with a bright red roof and a little brown door Every morning, Karthik would wake up and gaze at the big, happy sun. It shone so brightly, 
warming everything with its gentle glow. Sometimes, fluffy blue clouds would drift by, like cotton candy floating in the sky. Karthik imagined them as sleepy sheep or fluffy bunnies. Near Karthik's house stood a grand green tree. Its leaves whispered secrets in the breeze, and its sturdy trunk felt so strong and comforting. And oh, the flowers, three colorful blossoms, purple, yellow, and orange, danced in the gentle wind. They smelled sweet and looked so cheerful. Karthik loved to roll and tumble in the soft green grass. It tickled their tummy and made them giggle with delight. After a day of exploring, Karthik would return to their cozy red house. It was the safest, happiest place in the whole wide world. Every part of Karthik's world, from the bright sun to the tiny flowers, was special. It was a world full of simple wonders. Karthik felt so lucky to live in such a beautiful, happy place. Their heart was full of joy. And sometimes, the simplest things are the most wonderful of all. Okay, the presentation is finished. The narration is finished. This is how you can create wonderful storybooks for your kids or for anyone who likes to listen to stories. So, at any point in time, if you want to share it with your friends, all you need all you need to do is click on share button here. Once you click on share, you can share it on LinkedIn, you can share it on Facebook, you can share it on Twitter, you can share it on Reddit. So it is going to create a shareable link for you. So you can use this link to share it. And if you want to print it and put it on your on your wall in your home or an office all you need to do is maybe you want to have your kids drawing in the wall so you can print it and you can put it on the wall so the so the kid can see or you can also see these see these stories and now what we will do what we can do is I'm going to close this I'm going to close this now I'm going to create another storybook so the first one was for the kid. This is for personal reason. Now let us do it for professional reason and see how it goes. I am going to paste this prompt here. The prompt is very simple. Create a storybook about how our small team of four developed our new software product. Make us all represented, represented as heroic characters and the software bug as a big monster. I am going to hit enter. Let's see how it goes. And I wanted to tell you something, at any point in time, if you want to customize the prompt according to your requirement, you can do it. Let's say for example, you want to narrate the story with a calm, gentle voice or fun, energetic and exciting narrator. So you can, you can put these details in the prompt. In the prompt, you can say like, I need a gentle voice for this storybook or I need a fun, energetic and exciting narrator for this storybook. So you can you can customize the prompt according to your requirement. So the possibilities are endless. And also we have different types of customizations. The images that we get in the narrations, we have different types. For example, you can use 1980s cartoon, maybe Tom and Jerry, something like that. Using vibrant watercolors. You can use 3D claymation style. You can use minimalist line art. You can use Ghibli. Ghibli is very famous Japanese art. So you can use Ghibli inspired art or pixel art. So you can use different styles to create these storybooks. Okay, now let's go back to the presentation. If you see now, the presentation is ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on listen here. I'm going to maximize this and I'm going to click on listen. The Bugasaurus battle. In the bustling city of bright ideas, lived four brilliant minds, Ada, Syntax, Query, and Flow. They had a grand dream to build the most amazing software product ever called Innovate OS. Ada, with her sharp mind, designed the grand architecture, while Syntax, with nimble fingers, typed lines of powerful code, bringing the dream to life. But as they built, a tiny tremor appeared. Query, the keen-eyed tester, noticed it first. Aha, she exclaimed, something's wiggling in the code. Suddenly, a small glitchy monster, the Bugasaurus, popped out. It was small, 
but its flickering made the screens go fuzzy. Flo, the creative designer, tried to draw a path around it, but it just wiggled through. The Bugasaurus grew bigger with every line of code it touched, turning bright colors into messy static. Ada and Syntax knew they had to act fast to save Innovate OS. Leave it to me, declared Query, bravely stepping forward with her super testing tools. She zapped it with a debug ray and a patch-up net, trying to contain its chaotic energy. Flo quickly sketched a clever trap, a logic loop labyrinth, designed to confuse the monster. Ada, with her coding prowess, quickly built the labyrinth in the digital space. Syntax, with a final burst of coding brilliance, closed off the monster's escape routes. Together, the four heroes cornered the Bugasaurus within the labyrinth. With a mighty poof, the Bugasaurus shrunk, becoming a tiny, harmless little pixel, bug, easily swept away. The digital world of Innovate OS was clean and bright once more. Innovate OS was launched, shining brightly for everyone to use. Ada, Syntax, Query, and Flo, the Brave team, knew that together they could solve any problem, big or small. All right, we have come to the end of this presentation. So, this is how we can create nice narrated storybooks for your kids or for your friends or for your family or for your business or for your work purpose. I really hope you find this information helpful. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.